Hey, y'all, and welcome to Warrior's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, I'm so glad you decided to join me again. Please remember, hit that like button, comment down below in the comment section. If you have not, I need you to hit that subscribe button right now and subscribe to my channel as we are working towards 1,000 subscribers. And once you hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. Today, I am coming to us with a bittersweet story. Story. Today, I want to talk about Mr. Michael K. Williams. Um, and so Michael K. Williams, his um, loss of his life has not gone in vain, okay? So if you don't know, Michael K. Williams is the American actor from The Wire. And so um, let me throw up a little picture of Mr. Williams real quick, just so that we can get a quick glimpse of who he is, you know, and we can have a little remembrance behind us, okay? So here is Mr. Michael K. Williams. Like I said, he is an American actor known for his role on The Wire, um, Lovecraft Country, Body Brokers, and many, many more other films and shows. He was on the show Community. I don't know if you ever watched that with Donald Glover, um, but, you know, if you do not know, Mr. Uh, Williams passed away in 2021 of September um, from a drug overdose, which is so unfortunate, okay? And so TMZ came to us yesterday and reported that Michael K. Williams, drug dealer, pleads guilty in overdose passing case, okay? So, um... The man, let's see, this says, the man whom prosecutors claim caused Michael K. Williams' death by giving him dirty drugs has pleaded guilty and plea deal, okay? So he got a plea deal, you know, he, he's trying to, you know, get his less time, you know, and just, could, you know, confess to the crime um, and could see serious prison time. So I don't know how well the plea deal is going to work, okay? 39-year-old Irvin, oh, I'm going to say this last name wrong, Card. To Hien Tar Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Urban pleaded um, in, in another article, he's also known as Green Eyes. So that's how we'll address him. Irvin Green Eyes pleaded guilty Wednesday in New York City to one count of conspiracy to distributing drugs in connection to the late actor's fatal overdose from 2021. He now faces a mandatory minimum of five years in prison and could even see as many as 40, y'all. So here is the gentleman right here. Here's Green Eyes. Um, and so my, my coworker told me how to say his name earlier and I have forgotten, uh, uh and I'm not even going to try, but so Green Eyes was facing additional charges for potentially life in, uh, charges and a potentially life in prison, but immediately pleaded guilty, uh, to just one federal prosecutor slammed Green Eyes after securing the guilty plea, as well as others whom were arrested by saying the sale of fentanyl laced heroin um, brazenly happened in broad daylight. Um, and Green Eyes and Coast Conspir conspirators were preying on victims like Williams in Brooklyn. Okay. So this is who they're saying that Williams was right here. And this is green eyes, you know, distributing whatever that was. Okay. And so I, this, first of all, Mr. Green Eyes, you should just totally disappoint it. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir, because this is though you were trying to handle your hustle, your hustle has now caused someone else's, you know, passing, you know, so wow. U.S. Attorney Damon Williams also claimed that the dealer continued to plead dr uh, drugs on, excuse me, pedal drugs on the streets without a second thought, even after Williams passed. The second defendant, whom was also arrested and charged last year, uh, reportedly pleaded guilty too. As we reported, William's body was found in his home and his official cause of death ended up being an accidental overdose. His passing came as a shock to Hollywood. The actor was mostly known for his portrayal of Omar Little on The Wire, but his work went well beyond that. He and, uh, excuse me, well beyond that. And he was acclaimed um, in his craft, okay? Um, he had publicly battled 
drug addiction. Um, and, you know, this is just really, really sad, you guys. This is really, really sad. So here's, um, like I said, Michael K. Williams. And, you know, I, you know, have some thoughts and opinions real quick. So I'll share those and then we're going to get up out of here. First of all, my thoughts and prayers are to the family of Michael K. Williams. And I am glad that they were able to find the individual who sold him these drugs and that put him in this position. Now, yes, at the end of the day, we all have a choice. We all choose what we do and don't do, you know, and some choices are worse than others. But I don't feel that after he found out what happened, that he should have continued to pay his hustle around because your hustle ended up getting someone off. And that's the bad thing about doing these, you know, the drugs of it all, like it, you know, depending on what you do, if that's what works for you, cool, you know, but we have to be mindful of where we're getting this stuff from, what we're doing and what's, what's the why excuse me, behind the doing of what we're doing, you know, why did he choose to do this? What did he have going on that just really pushed him this far to the edge to continue this habit? You know, he had fame, he had alleged fortune, you know, he was in movies, he was in TVs, he had, you know, everything that a person could desire. But at the end of the day, if you're not happy in your mind, if you're not happy in your body, if you're not happy in your heart, those other extracurricular activities will sh will um try to fill that void or fill that place of whatever you feel is missing or whatever you're desiring that you can't have, you know, in that moment in time. So I am just glad that, you know, Michael K. Williams and his family is getting justice because this man should not still be roaming the street, selling whatever he's selling to people and they are losing their lives. This is so, so sad. Um, justice has come for Michael K. Williams. And granted, he was a part of it too. You know, you know, he played a part. But at the end of the day, if this gentleman had not given it to him, he possibly would still be here today. Just possibly. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. But y'all let me know what your feelings are down in the comment section. Like I said, I want to say RIP to Michael Williams prayers um and love and 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 and, and you know encouragement to the family because this is literally like reliving it all over again. You know, we found the individual that's done it, you know, and maybe he would be here had that individual not been connected to him and been in his life. Um, are y'all shocked by this individual pleading guilty? I actually am, but there's probably so much evidence that they have slapped in his face that he had no choice but to plead guilty. But he also said, you know, he don't want to be in jail forever. So he took that plea bargain, you know, and so hopefully, you know, he ain't locked up for life. But I definitely do believe that you need some time to sit behind the bars and think about the decision that you are making, not for just, you know, this individual, but for all the other individuals that you're selling to, you know, think about them. Take a second. They have families. They have friends. They have children. They have people that they care about. And so we have to, you know, get into our hearts. You know, we got to do what's best in our, you know, perspective, because now you have sold this man or whoever else, whatever, you're being held liable and responsible for the decisions that they chose to come and get from you. It's, it's, it's a sad situation, but I thank God that, you know, justice has come, that the people who possibly were a part of this, who um, were responsible or partly responsible of Michael K. Williams no longer being here are going to serve that time, you know, and have time to think about their decisions. And hopefully, hopefully, once they get their time and they get out, I hope that they do have a second chance, you know, that they can live a different life and they can try to do things a little bit differently and under people understand people who have an addiction, you know, better so that they can better help serve them in a healthy way. I know that's kind of difficult being the situation, but I'm all about people turning around, I'm all about people making it better and changing their mindsets because it has to start somewhere. Somebody got to speak it, somebody got to believe it, and then somebody's got to make it happen. And I'm going to be the one to speak it. I'm going to be the one to believe it. And I hope to be the one to help someone make the change happen. Okay. Y'all, 
hit the like button, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, y'all. We over here banging and booming. Listen, it is, you know, we got we got some mess going on. We do. But, you know, I love the positivity. I love to review a good show. I love to talk about good, positive topics. So let me know down in the comment section if there's something that you've seen and you would like me to talk about. Let it Leave it in the comment section. Or you can email me at R-O-Y-A-I-R-E-S, world at gmail.com. Leave your comments down below. RIP to Michael Williams. Prayers and support to the family, as I said earlier. Hit the like button. Share, share, share. And I'll catch y'all next time in Rear's Corner. All right? Bye.